Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over at Cable Channel 3. And you can also get us on the web at sandylandcenter.org or we are located on the south side of the beautiful St. John Square at 110 East 3rd Street. And today it's Friday. It's the end of the week. It's incredible how this week has gone by so quickly. I just can't get over it myself. But today is Friday the 19th. And around the greater Midwest area, a cold front uh, is advanced and it started yesterday, Thursday evening, and it's bringing with it some showers and thunderstorms. We can look forward to that over the weekend. And there's a threat of maybe damaging winds and hail. Uh, the, those are the two main threats with this cold front. And these, co these storms really are the harbingers of the ending of the current hot weather that we have been having. So this weekend, the heat wave should go away some and we will see much cooler temperatures. On Saturday, the high temperatures will be cooling down to the 80s and 90s. Uh, but right now in the square, it's a sunny 92 degrees with 50% humidity. And for the next six hours or so, we can look forward to some sunny temperatures rising to 96 for the high with south-southwest south, of the winds at 50 miles an hour. And tonight, the low should be right in the 73 uh, with some isolated thunderstorms and a 30% chance of rain. And it, with that, it will be about 60% humidity. Uh, Saturday, it should be some sun and cloud mixed with a chance of thunderstorms during the afternoon. The highs should be right at 96 with the wind south-southeasterly at 10 to 20 miles per hour and a 30% chance of rain. And the nighttime lows will be at 70 degrees with 60% humidity Saturday. And then Sunday we can expect a 97%, 97 degrees Fahrenheit for the high and a low of 71 with some morning thunderstorms and a 50% chance of rain. So if you're getting ready for church, look out for some rain on Sunday morning. And in our community, community today, we want to wish Mark Tompkins and Jessica Garcia happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mark and Jessica. And tomorrow, um, Nathan Ward and Ramsey McVay. So if you see these people, do, don't forget to wish them a happy birthday. And do mark your calendars. It's right here. It's a vacation Bible school at the uh, Methodist Church, the First United Methodist Church of St. John, um, having a Everywhere Fun Fair that's the title of their Vacation Bible School, and it's July 22 through the 26th, starting at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, they plan a week of games and sharing God's words for the youths four years to the eighth grade. And on that Friday, the last day of the Vacation Bible School, they will serve a, a supper for all the families and the young people will present some of the things that they have learned during the week and that is usually great fun. So do bring the children and the grandchildren and come out for a week of fun and games. And this week and is the weekend for the Stafford County Fair and it's been going on very well. Um, last night they had the ice cream and the 4-H tile um, reviews, those were last night, and the pedal pull, those, those were great funs with the different teams. And today, uh, they would have the animal show, so you know the children have been taking care of all the different animals all through the year, and today is when they get to present, and hopefully 
a lot of them will be going away with ribbons, lots of ribbons. So do come out and um, encourage them. And then on Saturday, we have a free community breakfast that's sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, come out and um, enjoy that breakfast and give, you, uh, give yourself a good start for the rest of the day because at 11 o'clock there will be a parade and at 1 o'clock the 4-H round robin and 4 o'clock the premium auction and 5.30 the Lions will serve a barbecue supper and 6.30 the Barnyard Olympics. So there's lots of fun. I especially enjoyed the pedal pull last night. So do, there's something for everybody um, at the Stafford Fair. And the weather is cooler, so that should be enticing for you to come out and support me. And our menus, over at the Maxville Center, Senior Center in Maxville today, we're serving up taco salad with some fresh corn and vegetables, perhaps tomato, carrots, and green peppers, and tortilla chips and pineapple tidbits. On Monday, they have some saucy pork chop on the menu, served with sweet potatoes, California bled vegetables, and um, rolls and apricots. And on Tuesday, it should be beef stroganoff on noodles, green beans, bread, and a melon mix. Melons very cooling for this time of the year. And over at the Senior Center here in St. John, today is ham and beans, Fried taters with carrots, jello, and a fruit cup. And on Monday, it should be meatloaf, mashed potatoes with gravy, green bean casserole, an island fruit salad, and sherbet. And on Tuesday, ham, red potatoes, zucchini with tomatoes, sunshine salad, and dream cake. Again, these recipes and menus always sound so enticing. And if you don't want to cook in the heat of the summer, support the two um, centers. And our thought for the day. If we fill our hours with regrets over failures of yesterday and worries over problems of tomorrow, we have no time left in today in which to be thankful. If we fill our hours with regrets over failures of yesterday, over the failures of the past, and worries over the problems of the future, we have no time left in today in which to be thankful. So, carpe diem, seize the day, and be thankful. Have a great weekend, and go out and support the Stafford Fair this week. Thank you.